equine from the genus Equus from the family Equidae, but that's enough of the whole biological order side of things. The name Equus is a simple explanation, it's merely Latin for horse, so I'm sure you can imagine that most members of the Equidae family are horse-like in appearance. Today we'll be looking at the names of four members of this family horses, ponies, donkeys and zebras. But here's a spoiler, one of these family members aren't really family. To start with, horses. If there's one thing horses love more than a bit of hay, it's their names. A horse can be called a variety of names depending on a variety of things. Its gender, its age, its parenthood status, its size, but more on the size part a tad later. The word horse first appeared in the English language during the 1100s as the word horse, yet its origins beyond that remain a mystery. Male horses have two names, a stallion or a gelding. These names depend entirely on the horse's genitals. A stallion isn't castrated, but a gelding is. Poor guy. Female horses are referred to as mares once they are older than 3 years old. So what's a female horse called before it reaches this age? The name for all young horses is a foal, yet each gender of foal have a specific name also. A colt for a baby boy and a filly for a baby girl. Speaking of children, both male and female horses gain additional names when they become parents. A horse's father is known as their sire and their mother becomes known as their dam. Moving on to my favourite member of the Equidae family, the donkeys. The key word in the origin of the name donkey Donkey is Dun. Dun is a brownish grey colour, a colour a lot of donkeys are. The name Duncan, which means brown warrior, also has origins in the colour Dun too. And so does Dung, probably, now that I think about it. Like with horses, donkey name origins are unclear, but it is thought the key suffix was added to make it rhyme with monkey. Hmm, monkey and donkey. There's got to be a Donkey Kong joke there somewhere. A male donkey is called a Jack slash John, once again depending on castration, and a female donkey is called a Jenny. But of course the question on all your minds is, what about asses? An ass, for all intents and purposes, is the exact same thing as a donkey. But no, this doesn't give you the right to call every Jack or Jenny you know an ass. Also, baby donkeys are just called foals, no colts or fillies here. Zebra's name origin is thought to lie with Equiferus, which is Latin for wild horse. Equi referring to horse and furus referring to wild slash untamed. Zebras still live to this name as they have never been truly domesticated. Zebra names however are the exact same as horse names. Females are called mares and males are called stallions. Geldings are not as common in zebras however as zebras are wild animals and no one should be getting that near a wild animal's junk. Babies are called foals and more specifically colt or filly depending on their sex. That would be as done if we didn't have to delve into the world of hybrids. Mules are probably the most known of these hybrids, and a lot of people seem to think mules and donkeys are the same thing, but a mule is what you get when you breed a male donkey, a jack, with a female horse, a mare. A female mule is called a molly and a male mule is called a john, which matches with male castrated donkeys as neither can reproduce. So what happens when you swap the genders around and breed a male horse, a stallion, with a female donkey, a jenny? Well in this scenario you get a hybrid called a hinny. Then we get the many ridiculous zebra hybrid names. A male zebra and female horse hybrid is a zorse, and it only gets better from there. Do I need to explain these? This leaves us with our final equine, the ponies. The name pony comes from the French word polonette, which means a young, immature horse. But what is a pony? Is it a breed? A species? It's neither. All a pony is, is a small horse. Well, officially it's a horse less than 14.2 hands high at the withers, meaning all ponies are horses, but not all horses are ponies. This means that two horses greater than 14.2 hands high could breed a foal that grows less than 14.2 hands high, and it be a pony, and that's most likely how ponies begun. Though some ponies have been bred so much that they have become their own breed, my favourite being the adorable Shetland pony. There's even a name for small donkeys, a burrow. However, there isn't a zebra pony equivalent, which sucks, as that would be adorable. Confused? No worries, here's a nice simple graph I made to make things seem a tad less complex. Oh, never mind.